Hey folks, welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're doing a smallmouth float trip up in northeastern Wisconsin. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Yes, folks, my buddy Tim Maher from O'Connell runs one of the most unique guide services in the state. Uh, what is this called, Tim? It's a three-man guide raft from Flycraft. It's a completely inflatable raft, 14-2. We got 1,200-pound weight capacity. We can fit quite a bit of gear and lots of fish. Yeah, that's the neat thing. I mean, you guide rivers all over the state. And uh, today we're going to be fishing, well, we'll probably try two rivers, the Menominee and the Peshtigo, but there's also the Pensaukee and the Okano up here. Uh, there's a lot of rivers to fish, huh? Yes, sir. There's even some smaller ones if people want to get out and wade. Pretty much any, any tributary that runs to the lake gets a good run of smallmouth early at least. Now, Tim is one of the best steelhead guys in the state. Of course, summertime isn't steelhead time. It's smallmouth bass time. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is an opportunity for two people to get in a raft, be guided on a float trip, eight to 10 hour float trip, and they catch tons of smallmouth and there's nobody around. Nobody around. You get the occasional big pike and walleyes to eat, nice eater sized walleyes, occasional big one. Get a lot of fish opportunities. And this is comfortable, folks. You got these nice backrests in here, and uh, we float down the river, and we catch bass. Yes, sir. Hey, it'll be fun, right? Yep, we're going to tear them up. Hey, folks, so show what we're using and how we're using it. All of that coming up right after this. Well, I'm here at the Amsoil Mechanical Lab with my buddy Len Groom. And Len, everybody knows me for fishing, but I actually have to do other work too. I got to mow the lawn, you know, I got to weed whip, I chainsaws, rototillers, all these different things. And I've been using Sabre for years for two stroke. What I've always liked about it is that it's one mix. But tell me more about it. Why is it cleaner? Why is it better? We have package sizes, no matter what size gas can you want to mix. But your main thing with you is you have so little time that you want the equipment to work. You need it to run when you have to go and cut the grass as much as we all hate doing that. We do a lot of testing on Sabre, as you can see. One of the things that we've found is key is cleanliness. So we build that into the product. We test it to be sure that the pistons, the combustion chambers aren't gonna gum up and that the product is gonna run in the limited time when you need it to work. So if you wanna get back to fishing like me, Check this out at amsoil.com. Your garage floor doesn't have to look like this. You can make it a beautiful extension of your home with Premier Floor Coating Solutions. They have decades of experience in both commercial and residential. So you'll get industrial strength and long lasting beauty for your home. Relentless quality from the ground up. Learn more at PremierFloorCoating.com. Now's your chance to win a new 2022 Grizzly 90s by Yamaha. Going on now, one lucky winner has a chance to begin a lifetime of awesome memories on a Grizzly 90, one of the best-selling youth ATVs in the industry. They're the perfect ATV for youth riders to explore the outdoors. The Grizzly 90 is equipped with a low-maintenance engine, automatic transmission, and electric start. Start a lifelong passion today by going to GillespieFishing.com. Click on this banner for a chance to win. Enter now. Sweepstakes is open through June 4th. Hey, welcome back, folks. As we talked about at the top of the program, we're doing a float trip in a three-man inflatable raft. And I'll tell you what, this is comfortable. It's stable. There's nobody around, and we're going to start out with smallmouth bass. And I'm going to just start out with a wacko worm. And a lot of different baits work, like swim baits and all that type of stuff. But, uh, Tim, what do you do? You concentrate on casting up to the shorelines? Yeah, right now we're going to work the shorelines kind of... The, some of the fish are kind of moving up onto bed. Some are transitioning right now, you know, some are already on them. It's kind of a weird year, so we got a little bit of everything going on. We're going to kind of work the 20 yards from the shoreline and work it down hard. Bass, walleyes maybe too? Yeah, we have some areas where we'll definitely get some chances at some walleyes and stuff. The shoreline right here where we're fishing, probably not, but there's some nice deep drops and nice banks where we'll get them. Let's go. Heck yeah. 
Hey, look at that. Oh, you're going to be the first to connect. We've been on the water about five minutes, and that is a smallmouth bass. Not bad. But, uh, Tim, if you want to talk to the camera and show them that fish there, uh, what I want to ask you about is not only numbers do you get on these trips, but you get a lot of big fish too, huh? Yeah, yeah, we get a good amount of big fish. We've been getting four or five pounders every day. This isn't obviously a four or five pounder, but it's a nice medium bass. Yeah, and the, the most beautiful thing about this, buddy, there's nobody around. I can actually yeah. hear the birds sing, you know? Yeah, there's eagles, ducks, otters, beavers, you name it, we see it all. Okay, now I put on a jerk minnow and cast out in the middle of the river there. I don't know what this is. Do you, Tim? I'm guessing it's a walleye. But... Seriously, you can catch walleyes too, huh? Oh, yeah. And, oh, nice yeah. Eye. Oh, there's a walleye, folks. And that, there are walleyes, if you can turn to the camera and show them that fish. Um, there's walleyes in here all summer too, huh? Yeah, we get a lot of them this size. There's a lot of, of eater size walleyes. That's that uh, pendu jig there, if you want to hold yeah. that up next to the walleye. That's that one that swivels and just the jerk minnow. But that thing hit hard, man. Yeah, they're a good fight in the current. They might not be that big, but they pull hard. Ooh, that, ooh, there you go. Yeah, let's see. Ooh, that's a nice bass right there. And the interesting thing, too, about a lot of these rivers that come out of the Bay of Green Bay, the smallmouth come up here and, and spawn, but a lot of them stay all summer, huh? Yeah, we get a lot of river smallies. There's a lot of local fish, a lot of resident fish. I mean, that's a nice one. Yeah, it's not a bad fish. There's a lot of 18, 19 inch fish that stay in the river, and some over 20 yet. <laughs> that's two casts in a row for you, buddy. Yeah. Two casts in a row. Fish medium, but. Yeah, that's all right. You probably just flip that guy yeah. in, right? Yeah. So on, a, on an average float trip like this, how many fish do you guys usually catch? You know, on a normal day, at least 20 fish, usually between bass, pike, walleyes. Yeah, so there's a lot of action. Yeah, there's a little guy here. Usually they're a little bit better than this. You, gotta, you get a lot of 12 to 16, 18 inch fish, and then you get a few that are over that every day, pretty much. It's a lot of, a lot of action. I just missed one before, Tim, a, a smallmouth, and this is a smallmouth and not a real big one. But I'll tell you what, folks, this is just awesome. We haven't seen another person. Okay, here he is, and not bad. Show him to the folks if you would there, Tim. Um, no, you don't see anybody. All you hear are birds chirping and whatever. And this is a great trip for like a father and son, father and daughter to do, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Good family time. Yep, and that, uh, now we'll get bigger fish than that today. Oh but, yeah. Uh, Fighting them against this current is really something else too, isn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of current in here, so even a small fish feels pretty pretty darn good size. Yeah, he, boy, he wanted that too, didn't he? Yeah, he got I'll hold him up once real quick there. and Not a bad bass. It's a oh my gosh, look at the size of this bass. Look at this bass here, folks. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful fish. Look at that. Oh, get, can you get him there? Ah, crap. Get him there, buddy. Yes. Now tell, show the folks there is a there is a smallmouth bass right there. You know that? Yeah, it's a nice one. And you know, I'm so impressed, folks, how stable this boat is. You know, but take a look at the size of this fish. Wow. And that's not uncommon, buddy? No, this is usually you get at least a couple of these every day. Yeah, but I want to tell the folks this is a very comfortable boat to fish out of. These sweets, these seats swivel and uh, really is totally comfortable, isn't it? I love it. It's yeah. a nice ride, nice and quiet. You don't get a ride like this out on the bay, that's for sure. Oh, beautiful bass. You know, Tim, one thing about coming down a river like this, the scenery is gorgeous. And as I said before, there's nobody else around. But all the spots, all of the areas that you cast to look like they'll hold fish. And you've been coming down these rivers ever since you were a kid, so you know the spots. But what makes a good spot on a shoreline? I usually look for like brushy shorelines like this for spawning areas or adjacent shorelines to faster water where there's good high oxygen and stuff. What I notice about fish is if you have a good bubble line, usually that shoreline where that bubble line's going to is usually holds a lot of fish. And the fish can be shallow or deep? Yeah, they're sitting in both spots right now, and we are having a crazy, crazy year, so everything's kind of 
screwed up. You got some fish spawning, some are getting ready to spawn, some are done. Hey, I got one now. Just casting, that fish was right up next to the shoreline. Here he is, not a big one. I can just, I think, flip yeah, it. Can you grab good. him and show it to the folks there, Tim? Yeah. That's that, uh, Kalen's, I, I gotta recommend that Kalen's uh, uh, jig there, that wacko jig, it's weedless. And that's something that helps here too, isn't it? Absolutely, there's a lot of logs and weeds and boy, it gets a good hook in them, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah, not a big one. No, well, we're getting a lot of schmediums. Oh, there we go, there, that's a lot of fun, folks. That one hit right next to shore. Okay, look at that. Oh, there we go. And he got my wacko worm too. That's Hold nice him up one. there, Tim. That's uh, a fatty. That, 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 that was a cool hit right there. That is a fatty, buddy. Look at that. And, and you say you've gotten them up to five, five and a half pounds. Yeah, huh? last year the longest one I got was 22 and it was about six pounds. Really? Yeah, that's a beauty right there. And uh, that's only about, what, 17, 18 inches? About long? an 18 inch fish, and she's about as fat as it can get. Now, let's talk a little bit about June and July. That's a great time for folks to come and do these trips, huh? Yeah, it is. Topwater bite goes crazy then. You don't get as heavy a fish, but you get a ton of them, and it's a good bite. It's Surface exciting. bait bite? Yeah, it's exciting. Whopper poppers and poppers, different stuff like that. Yeah, that's great. Nice fish, huh? Yeah, nice job, John. Wow, I'll tell you what, this smallmouth fishing is so cool. He's coming on this side over here. Okay, <laughs> yeah, this is another dandy here, folks. Wow, okay. whoa, look at this guy. I don't nice wanna color. lose him, man. Is no. he gonna come on this side or? It, against that current, man, this is, it's tough. Look at this guy though, man, look at that. Okay, I gotta go around my other rod there, around your oar. And we got him, nicely done. Now hold that one up. That's a beauty too, isn't it? Yes, sir. Are you surprised that that Caitlin's wacko worm is working so no, good? No, the wacky worms, any kind of plastic this time of year is perfect for this kind of fishing. Boy, is that a beauty, Weedless huh? style is especially good. Did you see that hit? I, I had yeah. a little tick like that and set the hook and he came right out of the water, didn't he? Yes, sir, that's fun. There's something special about smallmouth. But one thing I want to mention too, Tim, that uh, come fall, you guys do steelhead trips down the rivers, whether it's the Sheboygan, the Manitowoc, you do a ton of them, right? Yeah, steelhead and brown trout, salmon. Come August, we start to hit the rivers heavily for them. You gotta do this, folks. This is really a unique way of fishing. Hold them up the long way once, yeah. That's a nice three pounder, three and a half maybe? Wouldn't you nice say? Nice fish, yeah, it's three and a half all day. The skies of here shine on and on. Wisconsin woods and waters we all own. The skies of here shine on and on. On cool days, I love this comfy blackfish hoodie. And on hot days, I love the UPF blackfish gear. It's sun protective and it keeps you cool all day long. And guess what, Rob? What? Fleet Farm has a sale. 30% off all blackfish UPF gear from May 20th to the 30th. The Guide Series by Blackfish is sunwear designed for those that count on all-day protection on hot, sunny days. Utilizing chemical-free cooling technology, the Guide Series keeps you cool on the hottest days. Moisture wicking properties keep you dry and your core temperature regulated. You know, folks, with my buddies using leeches and crawlers all day, I'm glad I've got the Johnson Pump Washdown Kit. All I can do then is spray down the boat and get all that stuff out of there. But the Johnson Pump Washdown Kit has another use. It's 92 degrees and humid today. Now watch. I'll take care of my buddy Tom in the back. Ah, there, there we go, Tommy! Oh, hey, man! <laughs> what do you think of that, buddy? I love it. I need one. Yeah. Can he put them on pontoon boats? They're great for pontoon boats. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Wait until my wife has sees that one. I'm going to get her, too. <laughs> it's time to own the water. Dominate the competition.
innovation and break all the records. Livingston Lures EDS technology is the edge you need to conquer trophy fish anywhere they swim. I know I can count on Livingston Lures to put a trophy class fish in the net every time I hit the water. Don't fish harder, fish smarter with Livingston Lures electronic bait fish sound technology. Livingston Lures, it's time to make some noise. Live Imaging shows you what's below in real time with edge-to-edge -edge clarity and no gaps in coverage. All so you can turn must-watch detail into non-stop action. Only from Humminbird. That was kind of cool. You cast it right out into the middle of the river that time, huh? Yeah, there's a little dark hole. Any kind of dark pocket that you can see in the shallow water usually holds a few fish. Now, Tim calls these, they're not mediums, they're mediums. Schmedium bass. Schmedium bass. Hey, so, you know, if folks come on this trip, you can bring lunch and stop uh, along the river and... Yeah. You know, right? Yeah, absolutely. We can stop and have a lunch and chill out. You get to see eagles and ducks the whole time. Good time. And, and no people. No people. No people. I don't know what this is. Staying down, so it might be a small pike. Hard to tell. Kind of hoping it's a walleye. Let's see here. Ooh, it is a walleye. There we go. Nice wall ski there. I'll just let it. Ho, ho, ho. Hold that guy up there. And you know, Tim, you should tell the folks that sometimes the walleye fishing in these rivers can be as good as the smallmouth, huh? Well, sometimes you'll get all walleyes. I mean, it's been a little off today, but on, on an average day, you get 50 50 probably walleyes and bass. And so the folks can keep. Uh, the five of these, huh? Yeah, yeah, these are perfect eaters. Yeah, that was fun, buddy. He hit that uh, pretty good. Yeah. And this is slag. This is a little deeper hole here. Yeah, this is probably eight feet. It's one of the deeper holes we got on the river here where it's a decent size hole anyway. I hope this is another walleye. And it is going to be... Oh, nice walleye. There we go. Now show the folks that one right there. That is a pretty fish. And folks, I'll tell you what, this has been such a great experience today. That airplane is the first motor I've heard all day, you know, the one that just flew over. But uh, when folks come and do this, again, a dad can bring his son or daughter, and if they're under 12 years 12, old, they're that's free. free. Yep. And what a great trip. And you have all the rods and reels for everybody? Rods, reel, tackle, all that we Don't bring. throw them back yet. I want to, Brian wants to get a picture of that. All right. That's a real nice walleye right there. That was fun. Yeah. And, and normally on a trip you'll catch seven or eight. Yeah, yeah. On Saturday we got seven and about 25 bass and a half day trip. So. 25 bass, seven walleyes and a half day trip. That sounds fun. But this is an eight hour float trip. Yep. Feels like another walleye, buddy. Nice. Feels like another walleye. That is so much fun on the plastic too, is, isn't it, Tim? Yeah, I love plastic fishing. You don't have to get slimy hands from live no. bait. And here he comes. That's a Ooh, nicer one. There we go. Ooh, beautiful nice. walleye. There we go. Show the folks that one there, buddy. That is neat, folks. You know, to be able to do a trip like this and catch smallmouth, we caught a small pike, but catch walleyes like this, too. And uh, there, how many rivers do you actually do float trips on? Hold them, Look over there. There in, you go. In this area, I have about five rivers I do, and then I'll travel, too. I'll go across the state for fish. We do some smallmouth fishing in some different spots, and then I do some stuff over in the driftless for trout. Oh yeah, so you got it all. You'll travel the whole state pretty much. Yep. But you specialize in this area up here on the yeah. western side of the bay. This is my area. Yep. Grew up here, I've been fishing this my whole life. Breaking news from Fleet Farm, check out this deal. The Berkeley three-pack flicker shads are on sale for $9.99 and the flicker minnows on sale for $11.99 and includes all of Fleet Farm's exclusive colors. You just had about three bites in a row casting into that slack water, didn't you? Yeah. So I said, instead of fishing the middle for walleyes, I'm gonna cast the jerk minnow in there and he smoked it. There, we doubled up, double buddy. Double up, double up, double up. That's a bigger Two, one. That's, mine's a decent one too. Nice. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll get the net over here. Yeah, let's see what we can do here. 
these fish though, folks, I mean, the fight is incredible. Okay, we got two. I'll flip mine in. All right. And then look at that, that is a nice one right there. But I just asked you a few minutes ago about these fish schooling up. And sure enough, I mean, yeah, that's it... back to back. And you, he had a bite like four casts in a row, didn't you? Yeah, it was nice. Can you hold these both? Well, there we go. Yours is a, is, is a decent fish. Yeah, not But bad. again, you know, folks, if, if you really haven't caught a lot of fish, this is the type of trip you come on, and you're going to have action. And again, just the solitude. Ryan, the photographer, said before, this is such a relaxing day, you know? There's not much better than this. I mean, there's no fast boats going by here or water skiers or any of that stuff. No. I mean, and, and, and another thing too, folks, we're only like a two hour drive from Milwaukee, three hours from Chicago, Minneapolis is close by. You can do this a one day deal, right? Yeah, absolutely. I have a lot of people that come up from the city and do this for one day and then head home. It's time now to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2022 Fishing Contest. Terry Kiesel of Wisconsin Rapids caught this 14-inch perch on the Mississippi River on a minnow. John Gorarziak of Sockville caught this 15-inch crappie on Little Cedar Lake on a waxworm. Mark Johnson of Sturgeon Bay boated this 30-inch walleye on the Bay of Green Bay. He was using a blade bait. Donna Boltz of Elkhorn caught this 21-inch smallmouth on Big Crawling Stone Lake on a shiner. And this week's kids winners are Brady Lopnow of De Pere caught this 37-inch northern on Lake Onalaska on a shiner. And Isaiah Solis of Mayville caught this 15-inch crappie on Fox Lake on a rosy red. Each week, I shop online at FleetFarm.com to check out the latest deals. This week, save 20% off the Power Pro 150-yard fishing line on sale starting at $12.79. And the Storm 360 G2 Search Bait Swimmer Swim Baits on sale two for $8. Hey folks, here's some big news. You can spend an ice fishing weekend with me on the show. The entire trip will be televised. Join the team at Johnsonville as a new employee and you could win a winter 2023 weekend ice fishing trip with us. Become a Johnsonville member between now and July 31st for your chance to win this one of a kind experience. Come work at Johnsonville and you may go fishing with us. Johnsonville. They're so sincerely interested in you becoming the best person you can possibly be. I started Johnsonville as a temp. When you first start a company, you still don't know much about the company. So when you actually like learn what the, the, the job about and how much it means to the company, how much they care for the employees, it's kind of make you want to like, wow, this is the company you want to be at. I don't know what this is. We're in the same spot we've been in for the last half hour, folks. They just don't stop biting, you know? Oh, well, let's see, you're staying down. I think medium, schmedium, here he is. I'm hoping for a walleye here. Something a little different. Nope, another bass. Oh, uh, let's see, there you go. Show the folks that, no, that's small. Yeah. That's that doesn't even look get what he, schmedium. No, he's fat. Look what he just puked out in the boat. What are they eating? Some kind of minnow he puked up. Yeah. Fun, fun, fun. The smallmouth are everywhere in this river. They're just absolutely everywhere. What is that, a schmedium? Yeah, we got a schmedium here. Turn around there, buddy. Yeah, so that's on a jerk minnow. Yeah. But look at the, the bright color. Now, is there a reason you go with that real bright? I like it. It's tannicky water, stained water. I usually yeah, use up with the, the fish there. So usually, can see that. There usually I use white and chartreuse or white something bright, tannicky water. It's hard to see other colors. Ooh, now we're in the rapids. You you hook one of those bass in the rapids. That's yeah, not going to be easy fight. to get them in. Wow, they like the rapids, huh? Yeah, it's a good spot. Yeah. Little slack pools on the sides of the rapids are always good. Wow, look at that. And this water is cooking here, man. You know that? And they'll sit on the edge of this current or right in it? They sit on the edges and the seams and little pockets around it. Yeah. What a day this has been, buddy. I've really enjoyed the day. You know that, man? Yeah. And uh, other than Ryan, the photographer, we haven't seen another person, have we, Tim? No, we haven't. It's been a quiet, quiet, nice day. 
Yeah. Overman, nice little guy. Boy, he fought though, didn't he? Yeah, he's a good fighter. Well, we're getting really close to the end of the day. Nice bass there. That's a, what is that? A, what do you call those again? Schmedium. Schmedium. Yeah, but I want to mention again, folks, that, uh, ooh, I just had a bite too. Uh, you guide this on a daily basis, and again, if uh, if a dad wants to bring her son or her daughter, 12 or under, they're yep. free. Yep, they're and free. And this is an eight-hour trip, right? Yeah, eight to ten-hour trip, depending on the wind. And, and you know, they can bring lunch, and it's comfortable to sit here and eat, and, you know, just a great day. You know yeah, that? it's been a great day, that's for sure. The sky. Tim Maher guides the Bay of Green Bay out of Ocano on a daily basis. For more information, give Tim a call. The phone number is 920-604-4169. 604-4169. On that two-inch hyper hammer, look at that. This bait has three super unique features. The built-in glass rattle. It's a play off the of Google Eye Jig series that's been phenomenal for open water walleyes. Incorporating it now in a jigging minnow for ice fishing and open water. The brass slider, which is the hammer in the middle that slides back and forth, so you have a glass rattle and a hammer pin going back and forth, making two different types of unique noises. And then the third feature, which is the most unique, is a soft tail that rotates up and down to give it two different types of actions. And again, you can change out that tail to a whole bunch of different colors. The top features for the fishermen are the large casting decks that we have on board of the boat. We also have the highest end electronics available to the fishermen that he would really appreciate, as well as the air ride seating, things like that, that really make your day on the water comfortable. Tons of room for your graphs, large live wells, bait tanks. Everything is easily accessible. It's got a beautiful tow bar on the back, so if you want to go tubing or water skiing, the boat's got it all for you. John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. Hey Tim, so that was a great day, but I want to mention, so you do float trips down the Pensaukee River, the O'Connell River, Menominee River, and the Peshtigo. And the Peshtigo River. Yep. And you got some openings? Yes, I do. Give hey, me thanks. a call. Thank I you. had a good time, buddy. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know we're going to fish yet. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters in the Woods. <laughs> Please watch.